Hi and welcome to the third part of our technology video on QNAP. So today we're going to be talking about um, creation of your notification settings. So um, this is getting the system to tell you whenever something is either wrong so that you've either got a warning or an alert from the system itself or from any number of applications that are running on the system. Um, so we're going to go through setting up an email address um, and then um, showing you the configuration on um, selecting some of the applications to get them to send notification messages. Uh, it's a very simple one today and hope you enjoy it. So let's dive straight in. Okay, so we've got the basics done um, in terms of the setup. So now what we want to do is we want to configure our notifications. So from our QNAP interface, um, what you want to do is you want to go into your app center. And then we want to find the notifications icon, which we do here. So we want to display that. Uh, let's have a look. So we want to open that up. So we're going to say no to that. You can click through these, it gives you a bit more information about how to set up, but uh, we don't need to do that. Okay, so what we've got here, these are the um, uh, items that have been generated so far. So we've got four warning messages and one error message. So the error message will be a failed login attempt. Um, you can click on that to, uh, to see it, all of the events. Uh, why can't we see it? So here it is. So um, failed to log in from my machine where I got the uh, IP address wrong and the other warning was here where I cancelled a, um, a smart scan of disk 2 because that's the older disk. I'm going to do that later. I'm just copying data over at the moment. So uh, the way to configure this is you want to go into um, your alert and event notifications. So first of all we're going to set up uh, how we want the service to be configured. So we're not going to be use, we're not going to be using SMS. We're not going to be using instant messaging, and we're not going to be using the push service. We're going to be using the email service. So we're going to click on email, and we're going to add the SMTP service. And as you can see here, there's a whole load of uh, items that you've got here that you can use. But we're going to go to custom, and we're going to configure it for our external server, and we're going to configure it for. Uh, this is the uh, email address that it's going to go from and the username and the password. So let me just have a look at the password so I can find that. So the password is your SMTP password for your account or your account password. And we're going to set that as the default um, SMTP service. So we're going to click on create. And that's all there is to that part of it. That is now configured. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to go back to our overview and now we can set up our alert notifications. So we're going to create a rule and we're going to say all warning messages and all error messages. So we're going to say um, alerts call it. I oh, just need to say alerts, that will do. So we're going to say, so this is uh, what you want to do here. So we want to include all messages and we're going to click on next and our subject here. So enter the subject line. So do there and we are going to select our we're going to enter our email address here which just so happens to be the same and we're going to say next so what we've got here we've got a paired sender with a recipient so the from address and the to address can be the same that's absolutely fine and we're going to click on finish uh, you want to make sure that that's enabled and if you want to send a test email um, then you can do so as well. So what we'll do is we'll go into here 
methods and recipients and we're going to click on this little button here which sends a test email so we'll click on that and that will it'll tell you straight away if it can't deliver it um, and that was successful so we're going to confirm all of that data and then we're going to go back to our overview so as you can see here service account pairing is correct notification rules so we've got uh, alert notifications set. Um, you can also set up your event notifications. So this is for all of your um, services that you've got running on here. So uh, there's a whole load of every single application and service on here basically you can configure to send alerts and notifications. So what we do is we don't do everything but we do go through it and we set up um, do we don't need a firmware update notification system administration okay so these are the important ones the hardware so the audio alerts general hardware settings smart fan battery backup unit we don't have that we don't have a graphics card so we're gonna say um, general hardware settings and the smart fan and then we're going to tick the hardware status and we are going to go for fans overheating drives and that's it that's all we need external raid enclosure we haven't got one of those so it's fans overheating and drives And that is pretty much all I need, I think. Uh, my QNAP cloud, so this is quite a useful one. So um, if the certificate's going to expire, we want to know about it and make sure that it auto renews. And we also want to make sure that my DDNS um, updates on the service. Um, network and virtual switch we're not going to be using that at the moment so we don't need anything there just go through everything tick the bits that you want security so um, we're going to go through and we're going to do IP access protection Okay, so we want storage and snapshots, and we want storage pool and volume and disk. I don't need anything else at the moment. So these will tell us if there are any issues anywhere else. And that's it go to next and we don't want information alerts but we do want warning and errors and when we say next and again here we're going to put our subject line in we'll put the same notification and we're going to be using the email address that we had previously click on next so this confirms what we've set up in terms of uh, notifications that we want from the various systems. And then we click on finish. Like so. And now you can go back in here, notification criteria, and again you can do a test message. And there we go, that's sent that test message. Confirm that. Okay, so what we've done there now is to set up the alert and the event notifications from our system. So um, that's now completed. Um, and that's all there is to that part. So um, join us for part four, four where we're going to be looking at the hybrid backup sync and the multimedia console for setting up um, backups from the PCs and your Macs using Time Machine and also sharing multimedia on your network. 
um, for your various players that you may have. If you've got video, photos, music, you can um, share all of that. So join us for part three of that. Found that useful? Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave us comments below if you've got any questions. Thanks for watching.